So I watched Masters of the Universe Revelation and I absolutely loved every single second of it. So I bought the, um, well, I bought all the figures, to be honest, except for Spikor and uh, Faker and Fisto, I think. But um, yeah, I'm going to do up all of them. But Skeletor here is in the most need from the get go, I believe. Uh, there's just something off about the head. I I think I just think that shape of it is a bit off. Um, I think for starters, I think the teeth are too long and uh, the eyes they're a bit too round. I'm gonna narrow them down a little bit with clay, and the mouth. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to re-sculpt it, but uh, we'll start with the eyes and then we'll see what uh, happens after that. So I'm gonna grab some milliput. And um, let's get to work. Okay, so we got some clay here mixed. It's also beige, so um, I don't have to do too much to it when I paint it. So let's get rid of the Havoc stuff and uh, get to sculpting. So breaking off a little piece here, actually a little bit more maybe. Now, just have a toothpick here. So after a horrible ordeal of me losing this head for a solid two hours, um, it just like flew up in the air and I lost it completely. It defied every single logical trajectory I could think of. Um, I finally found it and I glued the mouth uh, closed. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, yeah, there's still like a little gap, but it's not really all that bad in my opinion. I think the mouth in general looks so much better now because the teeth aren't gigantic anymore. And um, I really like the eye shape as well. I think it looks great. However, it needs to be painted. This is just like me hastily rubbing some black on top of it. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna paint it. So I have a little mix of Vallejo Sun Yellow and Vallejo Livery Green and White. And uh, I'm just gonna mix those together real quick and then we're gonna give it a shot. So Skeletor in the show is a sort of yellowish green color. So we're gonna just try to replicate that and then we're gonna Give him a wash afterwards. And again, this is yellow, so the coverage isn't going to be very good until at least like three coats. And don't worry, we're gonna tone this down. It's not gonna be this bright when I'm finished with it. So for a second coat, I did the same mix, but I added a little bit of uh, Citadel Flayed One Flesh. It's a sort of beige color. 
just to uh, drag down this like extreme glowy. I think the next coat is going to have a little bit more of that flight one flush. But I'm pretty sure this coat will sort of like glow through the next coat anyway. So I think we're going to land on a good middle ground. And then we're going to do the paint wash as well. So again, same mix, but even more um, flight one flush. So we're going to take some Nuln oil now and we're just going to shade the head and it's also going to dull down all this like bright, this like bright yellow we've been um, putting on the face. So just going to sort of slather this over the entire head. And then we're going to do a dry brush off uh, the same color later on. So this isn't really a good indicator of what it actually looks like because uh, the wash is going to look quite different when it's dried but we're just going to leave that for like 20 minutes or so and then we'll see where we are. So now lastly, I'm just going to add some color to um, all these metal studs or gems or whatever they are. So I'm going to just paint them with some Vallejo silver. So here he is, all finished up and uh, infinite improvement over the original head sculpt. And uh, yeah, I th the silver really pops. I could do more, I guess, like I could have given him like a wash for the muscles and all that, but honestly, I can't really be bothered. I just really wanted to fix up this head. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope you liked the video and uh, stay tuned for more.